All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and invite your Abdul. Now, today, supposedly, if you remember, there's a guy, he's a Muslim guy, he said he will, uh, his sheikh, he promised him that he will call me today. So let us hope that this is will happen. Uh, we will show some comments made by Muslims. And as you see always, I do actually in my topics, I choose them inspired by Muslims' comments. Muslims always they help me to come with the uh, with the like next uh, topic to talk about. Always Muslims they try to downgrade uh, the Messiah. And if we look at their uh, comments, as an example, this one, we will show it to you on the screen. This Muhammadan, he said, his name Nur Din Islam. And while the God of the Christians in the Old Testament says he changed not, the New Testament metor, metor forced into flesh, helpless baby. Then he said the biggest scam. You see, here the Muslims, when they when they try to, uh, I mean, in one hand, they don't want to approve the, the Old Testament. On the other hand, they explain the Bible as they wish. They can't even explain their Quran, but they are expert in what the Bible says when God, he says, you don't change. The nature of God is not about he have a flesh or not. The nature of God that you don't change, which means he is always perfect. He is always decent. He is always justice. He is always wise. He is always knowledgeable. He is always almighty. Now, you just mentioned that he became a helpless baby. But isn't it your Quran says that Jesus in the cradle he spoke? How that can be helpless? Have you ever heard of a baby in the cradle he speak? The word of God. Look like the one who speak the word of God for you as a baby. He is helpless. So Allah was giving his words to a helpless baby. That's mean Allah is a stupid. Because why Allah don't speak to us, but yet he chose a baby to speak to us. Look like Allah is the helpless, not the baby. So the silly of Muslims is beyond the imagination. Desperately trying to find how we can make Jesus no one. And by the way, they say we believe in Jesus, but the fact all the attacks of Islam is against Jesus. Can the God of Islam do what the baby can do? No, he cannot. And here we go, we are live on air. If any Muslim can show me one thing your God can do, Jesus did. So we can love together. My Lord, the Messiah, he resurrected people from death. In front of witnesses, not in a fairy tale stories. Even your yellow pages, the Quran witness for that. My Lord, he made the blind see. Your Lord, he kicked the blind from the house of Muhammad. Another quotation from the same Abdul. He says, Stuart Jameson, supposedly this is an idiot convert. Yeshua or our beloved would simply say before Adam I was did he say that yes he said that you and your steward are a bunch of idiot isn't it Jesus says I am the Alpha and the Omega you donkey <laughs> and this is can be found too in the Old Testament which means Jesus says that in the book of Revelation and the Old Testament say if you want to say that okay where God he said not Jesus forget about Jesus isn't it Jesus who says that too in the book of Isaiah? I mean, God. Silly, stupid. Their argument is shish kebab. Abraham was here today with this, uh, this, uh, this, gosh, this question himself from the billable of uh, unfounded lies against him. Imagine God literally 
Wristing with a mirror man this is his uh, hand work You see the Muslims First of all what uh, what Abraham have to do with the story you mentioned secondly Just to show you that you Muslims are a bunch of ignorant you do not know. What are you talking about? If we ask a Muslim what the word Israel mean Who's a Muslim want to answer us? The second you call Israel, Israel, you just confirm the story in the Bible that God as the Bible says, was, as you said, was whispering with Jacob. <laughs> so if you don't believe in the story, why you call him Israel, you idiot? Do you see the stupidity? If you don't believe in the story and you are making fun of it, so where the name Israel is coming from? I will tell you why Muslims don't understand because they don't know what the word Israel mean. These people didn't know. They don't know, brother. They know nothing. They heard nothing. They know nothing. They are deaf. They are just copy paste. So the second you call him Israel is the same second you confirm that he is was like a uh, he was struggling with God, and this is where the story is coming from. Why you call him Israel? They don't know. What about Allah? He sent his angel to Moses, and Moses did beat the angel and took his eye out. All what the story in the Bible is speaking about that Jacob passed the exam of God That he is a person who can stand for the truth and he can be a person who the Lord can take give him the mission This is not about whistling and fighting as you think So here you notice how the Muslims they take words and they try to say we don't believe in it but the fact the names they have in their books says that Muhammad obviously he knows or he is a stupid who do not knows yet he took the name otherwise how Jacob name became Israel any Muslim have an idea you see I'm just going with your uh, with your uh, logic if you don't believe in the story how Jacob name became Israel Any Muslim? Somebody saying why Supreme Court was given an honor to Muhammad. What Supreme Court? What court? Court of who? And what does this have to do with my topic? Focus with me, guys. If you are not, if you are a kid, just leave. If you are just a kid, we have a topic. What Supreme Court? What Muhammad? What are you talking about? Supreme Court Any Muslim want to tell us why you Muslims you call Jacob Israel in the Quran Do we have any Muslim there So why you are making fun of the story if your Quran agree with the story Ask your God Allah how what happened Jacob his name is Jacob So why he is calling him Israel in the Quran if we go in your city book in the Quran we will find this If we search for the word Israel Because Allah called him why he called him Israel means struggle what what Israel mean? Hold on, hold on. What Israel mean? What the word Israel mean? Let everybody laugh. You Muslims tell me what the word Israel mean. Here we go. This is the word Israel. What Israel mean? Hello? Mahdi, you said to me because Allah called him Israel. Okay, why he called him Israel? He have a name already. What Israel mean? 
I mean, look at the Muslim after he squeezed his head and he scratched his back and he took all the fleas from his head. He come with an answer because Allah called him. Why he called him? He have a name already, Jacob. Hello? It's a religion of idiots. Didn't know. <laughs> they don't know this is how stupid this cult is because Allah called him okay wh why he called him that and what Israel mean do you know what the name mean it's mean the one who whisper with God you believe it Laugh at yourself, stupid, silly. This is what the name means. So you are making fun of how the Bible says such a thing, but you call him Israel? Donkeys. Certified donkeys. Bring your sheikh to me, the one who made those stupid argument, so we can make them shish kebab and will make everybody laugh at them. How many of you Christians, Muslims, they say to you the same argument and you do not know what to say? You try to explain, right? You do not need to explain. Here we go. Got them busted. It's in front of you. The Quran called him by the same thing. He says the one who whisper with God, the one who struggle with God. The Quran says that. So you don't believe in the story. So why you why you why you why you why you have it there? Do you see how easy to get them busted? Stupid, silly. Maybe Allah called him Israel because he already known by the name, despite it's actually mean whisper with God. No, his name is Jacob. <laughs> his father called him Jacob he did not call him Israel <laughs> and not only that by the way if we look in the whole stupid Quran and we ask ourselves okay the Quran says oh children of Israel who is Israel where in the Quran we can find somebody telling us who is this guy his name is Israel nowhere because this is a stupid book literally stupid book nowhere in the Quran it says who is this guy have you ever heard of a, an author? He start making a novel story, like let us say about people in the in the story, and then suddenly, oh, children of Israel. Okay, who is Israel? Shouldn't you say for us to us who is Israel? So if we go back to the comment made by the Muhammadan, we will see that this those comments are made by, by an idiot. Secondly, imagine, imagine, God, literally. Wrestling with a mere man, are you? I imagine that too, brother. I imagine, I imagine that your God says that Isa will whistle with the with the pig. Imagine a messenger of Allah will fight with the pig. Imagine, and same time, as long as you didn't agree with it, it's mean you reject Islam. Thank you very much, because this is what the word Israel mean. By copying the name, you copy the story. Stupid cult. The death is hocus. Okay. The son of Maryam was raised and saved. Guys, imagine if Muhammad did not say that Jesus did not die. Uh, which means, uh, sorry, imagine if Muhammad said Jesus died. And then we want to confirm to the Muslim says, no, Jesus died. Uh, uh, he's alive now. He's died. He died, but he's alive. The Muslim they say, "Are you stupid? Everybody's dead, man. What are you talking about?" So here, look at this. The death is a hocus. Who who is the one who says someone someone who came six hundred years after after Jesus and never saw Jesus? Who is the one who says so? 
we have books of history we have the Roman books we have the Greek books we have the Jewish and not only that even your city Quran says yes the death of Jesus was real shall we prove it to you let us go and by the way our topic is about the shin of Allah so we'd not change the topic and we have the shin ready for you I found the shin which is nicer than the shin of Allah a lot nicer actually we cannot say it's the same but I mean we have to use a shin I think Allah shin is very disgusting so we will go back to the shin of Allah may Allah bless his shin and uh, you know Muslim they are praying to the shin of Allah now so the death of Jesus is hocus why isn't it every you Muslim you say human being every human being would die okay why Jesus would not die I mean look at the stupidity brother every human being die brother how long you will live brother 50 years brother 60 years brother 70 years brother 80 years brother 100 years brother they will die brother okay why Jesus until now the only one in the cult of Islam is alive for the last 2,000 years so believing in nature which is normal to happen even normal death people deny forget about the crucifixion no Jesus did not die so believing in death is a hocus believing in someone he is still alive for 2,000 years is not hmm? let us take this shin because it is it is uh, uh, we know uh, Muslims they might get excited let us go to the Quran as long as you are saying the death of Jesus is hocus the Quran says the following read and laugh this is your book and remember when Allah said oh Isa I will take you and raise you to myself and clear you from those uh, what, what, what 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 look look at the fast translation where I will raise you where there's a word before I raise you there is a word that says in the I will cause your death let us change the translation and you will see how the word change just to show you the scam of Islam this is Hilali Khan let us take different translation uh, Ahmad Ali I don't know who is this guy Ahmad Ali let us give him a try give him a shot I will take you to myself Look, where is the word I will cause your death it's gone okay forget about this guy let us go to different idiot uh, who let us see English English the uh, I mean what the, what's wrong with this name dry dry cleaning uh, recall what time what what time you yeah, seven o'clock what time Allah said or oh, is a verily shall I uh, make you the die uh, finally we got somebody but okay, guys why in the previous translation the word die is not there did you did you notice the scam how such an important word in all the previous translation we could not find that it, it's gone Any Muslim can't tell us? All the previous translation we saw that there's no die. Okay, where is the word die coming from? They took it off. So I will make you die and then I will take you to me. <laughs> so in order for Jesus to go up to heaven, he have to die first. And then I am lifting thee to myself. Do you see it? Hello. They clear my hand, clear my heart. Well, uh, okay, I, I'm I'm working in clearing my heart, my friend. As long as you are asking me to clear my heart, maybe you can help me. How Allah He cleared the heart of Muhammad? Is it true, brother, that Allah He sent an angel? And he do washing for a uh, washing surgery for the heart of the prophet. Hmm? Is that what you mean? Okay, call your angel Jibreel to come and wash my heart. Look, this Abdul is asking me to wash my heart. Look at this. 
He's saying, uh, remember of it. Clear your mind and open your heart, Islam, beautiful brother. Okay. Here we go. This is how Allah He opened the mind of Muhammad. The mind of Muhammad is in his belly. So the death of Jesus is hocus, but sending an angel to take all the material inside the stomach of the prophet and then he stuff him with dish of faith and wisdom is not a hocus. I'm really convinced. I open my heart, brother. Look, the heart of Muhammad, look in the hand of the guy. Do you see? I think this is the heart of the liver. I'm not sure. Maybe it's his testicles. You are talking about hocus? So this is for you, not hocus. And the death of Jesus is hocus? So look, we go back to the yellow pages of Muhammad. Allah will cause Jesus to die and he will take him up to heaven. And here the Muslim, in order to solve this issue, they say, brother, he is not really dead. He made him sleep. <laughs> So the word die is asleep these days the word die is asleep the Arabic it says mutawafika I will make you die the devil inside my mind ah. no the devil is not inside my mind because if the devil is inside my mind would we'll do what to what did to Muhammad look what Muhammad said Muhammad says that Allah command him Sorry the devil command him The devil is not commanding me Otherwise prove it where the where the devil is commanding me here we go The Prophet said There is none amongst you whom is not attached from among the jinn, the devil, <laughs> the companions said, Allah Masans are with you too, brother. Look here, the, you can imagine the, the companion here, like their eyes wide open, like, What the heck? With you too, brother? Where, thereupon, he, 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 who, he, Muhammad said, Yes, yes, but, but, brother. Allah help me against him and I'm safer from him and he command me not but to do good the devil command him to do good Abdul the devil command in your prophet to do good so all the good deeds of Muhammad is coming from the devil is that why he raped women and you call it good deeds is that why he still clothes and you call it good deeds? It's, is that why he was attacking caravan and you call it good deeds? Or you call it jihad? Are you there, Mr. Uh... It's a weak hadith. Are you are you a troll or what? I think this guy is making fun. I don't know. Is it is this guy is a real weak hadith? I think he's a is I think I don't think he's real. No, this is Sahih Muslim. What a weak hadith? And even weak hadith is accepted. <laughs> the devil command the prophet to do good okay now we go back to that topic so as you see here it says that uh, the messiah shall die and then Allah will take him up to heaven but this is destroy all the propaganda of the Muslims today and as you see this is in the Quran same time it says and those who follow thee those who follow thee they are going to be victorious above those who disbelieve until the day of judgment. That means there's no way anyone can corrupt the book of Jesus and the teaching of Jesus. It's a promise from Allah, supposedly, if he is God, that Jesus' followers, they will be victorious until judgment day. Well, if Jesus' followers today are deceived, that means the promise is false. Is that correct, guys? So do you see how stupid the religion of Islam? Squeeze it. The Muslims always they use for us certain words and say, Why God is coming as a man? 
God cannot come as a man. Who are you to say what can God do, what he cannot do? So why you call him almighty if he cannot? In the same time, Abdul, if we go in the book of Genesis, you will see that the book of Genesis, from the beginning of the Bible, says that God came as a man. This is Genesis 18. And the Lord appeared into him in a plain of Merm. He said, uh, uh, in the tent door do you see it and then he says and he lift up his eyes and looked and lo, three men stood by him and when he saw them he ran to meet them from in the in, in, uh, uh, from the tent door and he bowed himself toward the ground and he says my lord if now I have found etc you can read the rest so God he appeared to Abraham as a man this is the Old Testament. This is the book of the Jews. This is not the Christians. Uh, what you what you say, Muslims fabrication. So your argument is very weak and very stupid. Now we go to the shin of Allah. I love the shin of Allah. After I saw the shin, I'm thinking now about getting married. Man, guys, uh, I think I need to go because uh, I like this shin. To be honest with you, uh, I'm going to change the topic now. I'm talking about uh, <coughs> Allah has a shin. Is Allah beautiful? Muslims, they will say yes, so beautiful. Oh boy, and Allah will do this. So how we will know Allah? We will know Him by His shin. Explanation Who is the Muslim? Uh, sorry, not Muslim, Muslim who want to show us how Allah is a shin. Look at this story here. The Muslim they ask Muhammad, and look how long this hadith man. I mean, look, this is like a book by itself. Why Jesus says my father is greater than me? Yeah, because he's in the shape of a form of a human being coming to this earth, humbling himself. When God, he come as a man, he is humbling himself. This is what the Bible says, for God humble himself. So Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God. No one can see God and live. Even in your book, it says that Moses could not see God. If he look at him, even the, the mountains will be destroyed. So God humbled himself in the book of the Quran and he appeared to Moses in the tree as a fire. Is that true? So who is the greater? God or the fire? Do you want to show you? Here we go. This is your question. I'm going to show it to people in this so people will know what we are talking about. Huh? And now we go to the Quran. All right. We go to the Quran, chapter 28, verse number 30. Read with me, Abdul. I hope you are not illiterate like your prophet. And then when he saw first in the verse before it, Moses, he saw a fire from far away. So he told his family, I'm going to go and get a fire. All right? So we can have fire. So when he get close to it, he saw a fire, but the fire was coming from a tree, and that tree is a blessed tree. Have you ever heard of a blessed tree? What is a blessing for? What is a what is the blessing of the, the the holy ground? Actually, the translate. Let us change translation. Hold on. It's a holy ground, and it's a blessed. How is that? What make a tree ground holy, and the blessed? Do you see it? But when he came to the fire, a voice was heard from the right bank of the valley, from a tree in a Hollywood ground. O oh, Moses, verily I am Allah, the Lord of the world. 
so you Muslim you refuse that God he changed his shape but Allah is coming as a fire speaking from the tree is he a fire now how are you ah, you Muslims are Zaradish you worship the fire because Allah don't change his shape right so now you have to worship the fire because this is the real shape of Allah who is the one who spoke to Moses What flat earth? Yanis, what flat earth? You guys, don't change topic. But what, what what flat earth? So, but when he came to the fire, a voice was heard from the tree. From where? From the tree. And if you want to say to me that Allah is not the fire, okay, hold on. When Jesus got baptized, God said. He is my son. Okay. No, not the son of Allah. He's son of God. Uh, Allah is not our God. <laughs> I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> what did you eat before you come here? Allah mean peace. And by the way, where do you get this from? Allah mean peace. Who is the stupid who told you that the word Allah mean peace? Not a single Muslim knows what Allah means. The word Allah. Where do you get this name from? What a joker. So look at it. If you go in the Quran, you will see that Allah is saying that the fire is a blast. Blast is the one who is in the fire and who is around the fire. Who was in the fire? Chapter 27, verse number 8. And here, by the way, you see how this, the Quran is a scattered book. It's like somebody was correcting a bunch of papers and somebody opened the door and the papers fly all over and then just put them together as they found them in the floor. And the, the, the story does not, I mean, why the story is scattered everywhere? Behold, Musa says to his family, I perceive fire soon. I will bring you some from it. And then when he came to the fire, a voice was heard okay and the blast who is the one are in the fire who who is the one is in the fire any muslim can tell me who is the one in the fire anyone who is the one is in the fire who is a blast any Muslim have an idea so what the Muslim will do now they will start guessing a brother Maybe the fire is a blast because we are Zaradas, brother. Mm -hmm. hey, brother, maybe there was a holy mosquito in the fire, brother. Uh -huh. Who is the one in the fire? Any Muslim want to check tafsir? Uh -huh. Why you need tafsir, brother? I thought the Quran is very clear. Secondly, what tafsir will say? Tafsir will say, blast is the one in the fire and the tafsir and the sheikh, he will start, he will guess. Because it doesn't say who is the one in the fire, does it? Does it say? Let us go to the tafsir just to make him happy. I mean, come on, customers come first, right? Always customers are right, especially if they are Muslims. <laughs> okay, we will go to the tafsir. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. And you know the funny, if you read for them tafsir they don't like, they reject it. So tafsir is wanted only in certain times, certain moments, hot moments. <laughs> so 27 verse number 8. Are you ready for tafsir? Don't tell me I will not accept it. That will be poo, poo Because you are the one who asked for it. Brother. All right. So we go to the tafsir. 
and here we go we are in the tafsir tafsir al-jalalain the official government website of the kingdom of jordan all right but when he reached to it it was called with the following words blessed is he to say god bless him is the in the fire namely moses who was around the fire but but moses was not in the fire moses was in the fire he muslims moses was in the fire what is this guy is saying here hello is that moses who was in the fire why he was making barbecue of himself hey musa khabibi what are you doing there khabibi i am taking fire bath khabibi i'm going to get tanned brother i cannot go to the ocean so i'm going to jump in the what fire that is sunni tafsir uh, you want shia tafsir Shia tafsir is horrible. Let us go to Shia tafsir, no problem. But we have to go to the Arabic because, because in English they have only few in English in this website. Actually, hold on, hold on. In the other website, in here, <coughs> they have the tafsir. I don't know if it's in English. Let us see. Uh, tafsir. Uh, Tafsir al muyassar Okay, let us see what is that. I don't know. Yeah, but this is in Arabic. All right. Yeah, and actually, he didn't say anything. Those guy he did not say anything. So it's the same garbage. Let us go to to Shia Tafsir. Hold on. We have to go to Arabic now. And we will choose a Shia Tafsir. <coughs> Uh, we will choose Ithna Asharia, all right? So the 12 Imams Tafsir. Okay, Al Bayan. Let us see Al Bayan. Uh, all right. Let us see where is the tafsir for this thing. Page number two. <coughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I found the interpretation, brother. <laughs> A brother, bless the ones who they are in the fire. And this is mean that he is speaking about the angels who is in the fire and who is around the fire, which is Musa's. So the one in the fire, brother, is the angels. What what the heck with that? Where in where do you get this from? Where in the Quran it says that the one was in the fire, and by the way, it says the one in the fire, not many. Burika man fi nar, wa man hawlaha. And by the way, how Musa's can be around the fire? He cannot be. This is a stupid Arabic mistake, because to be around something, you can say he's beside. To say around, that's mean we surrender the fire from every direction, and that is impossible one by one person. Correct, guys? To say he was around the fire, and the word around, it's mean a, a, a circle, around. So to say around, it's mean he is surrounding the fire from every direction, but that's impossible for Moses to do. He's one man. So look what the Muslim trying to, this is the Shia, trying to find who is the one in the fire, they come with the story that those are the angels. Okay, show me the reference for that. Where you get that this is the angels? And how the ground is a blast if they are the angels? And why Allah, he says to Musa, take off your feet, take off your shoes. 
for this is a holy ground. Hmm? If just an angel. And where is the voice? The voice is coming from the tree. What the voice saying? The voice coming from the burning tree saying, I am Allah. Saying what? I am Allah. He did not say, I am an angel. Where is the fire? The fire is in the tree. Take, take a note, guys. Look how it's stupid. Look at the madness of this cult. The fire is in the tree. The voice come from the fire in the tree. What the voice said? I am Allah. He did not say, I am an angel. And he claimed that this is a holy ground. So where do you come with the explanation that those are angels? Uh, Allah mean peace. I think you are just a troll. So I have to let you go. Come back with a different name. You are not a Muslim. I just wasted my time. Any Muslim can answer? The voice in the tree says, I am Allah. So was Allah in the tree or only his voice? Who is a Muslim when I give us an answer? Was Allah in the tree or only his voice? Any Muhammadan? Hello. By the way, I am like Suleiman. I speak the language of birds. This is a bird was saying Shahada, and he is an art. Uh, uh, he's an artist. Hmm. He do work as a striptease in this in the striptease club as an artist bird for the chickens. Hey brother, repeat after me. Okay, hey brother, repeat after me as Hadoop. Uh, no, no, Ashadu. No, L listen carefully. Ashadu. Uh, listen uh, slowly. Ashadu. Uh, what's wrong with you? And the bird look at him like, What an idiot. I don't speak Arabic. Hello. Yeah, we have to say it in Arabic. And we don't understand Arabic. And we know nothing. What, what, what are you saying to me? I have no idea. So now, who's the Muslim? Tell me. Was Allah in the tree or the voice of Allah? Was the shin of Allah or Allah? Is it time to go to the shin? Guys, I have a better fly just in my window in the glass. You will not believe it how big it is. Mean. If, if, if. It has 600 wings. I think this is Jibreel and it covered the horizon and it's squeezing me now and the butterfly is saying to me read I don't know how to read uh, hello what color I don't know it's just a small tiny one she's run away I was joking with you hello can't I lie for some time like the Prophet Muhammad peace upon him I mean, why people accept any lies? I, I want to practice lying for some time. I feel I feel depressed. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, who is the Muslim when I tell us who was in the tree, Allah or His voice? By the way, we have, why we have? I mean, look at YouTube. By the way, YouTube like and dislike. It's very weird. When somebody like you, he give you a finger. When somebody does like you, he give you a finger too. <laughs> Unbelievable. YouTube is so funny. So when somebody give you a like, you get 458 fingers. Okay. And when somebody dislike you, he give you a finger too. <laughs> I hate you all. I hate you. I hate you. Okay. Now, who's the Muslim to answer? We are waiting for an answer. So look, we go live on air, and we we where is the guy, the sheikh, who he said he wanna call me? 
Mm. But don't remind me about the finger. First time I drove in the highway in America, everybody was saying to me, hi, this is what I thought. Everybody put his hand out of the, the car and he gave me like, hi. And I say hi back. I said like, man, I'm famous here. I thought I'm famous in the Middle East only. Like, why everybody saying to me hi? I was driving slow in the highway. So everybody opened his window like, me. he put his uh, hand out and there's a finger. He was giving me like, by the way, not dislike. <laughs> and this is the true story. Sahih al-Bukhari. Any Muslim? Hello? Hello? You hear my tummy grumble? No, I'm drinking. Uh, no, my tummy is not talking. Uh, by the way, my tummy have a problem. I tried many times to teach her how to talk. Don't even try. I was drinking, uh, uh, I'm drinking, uh, what is called? Coco. Coco? Yeah, Coco. <clears throat> So what? No Muslim want to tell us? Okay, let us go to the shin of Allah. I cannot wait really to speak about the shin of Allah. We said, Allah Messenger, shall we see our Lord in the day of resurrection? Now a Muslim here is thinking. Are we going to see Allah? The Prophet said yes. Are you going to struggle when you look at the sun? Yeah, we struggle. Are you idiot? I go blind. Go try for one second. Look at the sun, especially in Saudi Arabia. What do you mean are you going to struggle to look at the sun? Hello? And the moon? When the sky is clear? We said no. He said so so you will have no difficulty in seeing your lord on the day as you have no difficulty seeing the sun and the moon and the funny the muslim they say you cannot compare allah to anything so why muhammad comparing allah to the sun when i speak about trinity and i say uh, like the sun have heat have light and the sun is a star by itself it's a mass massive mass of gas uh, we have a, is that a Muslim hello 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 yes what do you want to say to us go ahead you are live um, oh yeah, yeah okay I just want to say listen how can you believe a man to be God, I just want to ask you that question. That's a wonderful question. So, what do no, you no, think? Can, okay, can hold, can on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you. You asked me. So, well, how, so why you, why you're a prophet? He described Allah as a man. See, well, I don't understand. Why? You just... Why you just ask me a question? Please let me answer you. Ask question, why you Allah? Why me? Allah described as a fat, short man according to your prophet? Are you making fun of your prophet or what? I, how can you go toilet? You see, eat food. Oh, first of all, okay, hold on, hold on. Show me a verse where it says Jesus went to the toilet. At the same time, show me where Allah did not go to the toilet. Obviously, he's a, he was a human. Obviously, he had to no, go no, to no, the obviously. Yes. obviously, Jibreel was coming as a human. So that means oh, uh, Jibreel used to come to the house. Hold on, hold on. Are you saying Jibreel he used to come to Muhammad in the shape of a man and he'd go to the toilet and he'd do shit there? No, angels don't do that. What so. do you mean? He, he Obviously, he was a human too. He came in the shape of a human, even in the shape of a friend of Muhammad. Now, listen, this is the height of your prophet. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. A human. This is the height of your prophet saying that your God, Allah, is a short man, he's fat, and he have weird eyes. Read it. No, he doesn't say that. You lie. It says that. Read it. He will go in front, in front of you. Muhammad said it. Read is it. Read it. It's my friend. It's in the front of you in the screen. Read it. Go ahead. I'm listening. I asked you a question. I don't know why you don't. I'm answering that. you. I'm answering you. You are saying how God I can, how God can, God, God, God can, God can, because He's Almighty. Your God cannot. My God can. But now here, ask, ask me. As long as you don't believe that God is can be a man, why your prophet is worry about the Dajjal and Allah? How they look like? He think that the Muslim they will worship the Dajjal, believe is Allah. Why? Because they look exactly oh. the same. What the difference between them is one I read it. 
اخي لا يو نو ميك سنس يا ابو اخي اي دونت ميك سنس اتس يور برايفت دونت ميك سنس ريد ات ماي فريند اتس نوت مي هو دونت ميك سنس اتس يور برايفت كومبيرين بتوين ذا لوك اوف ا مان اند ذا لوك اوف الله او يو جاد او جاد وينت تو ذا تويلت انسر انسر نو يو هاف تو شو مي وير يو جيت ذس فروم ذس از فالس يو نو يو 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 كان يو كان فابريكيت از ماتش از يو ويش اوكي دو يو هاف دو يو هاف دو يو هاف ا فيرس ات سيز جيسس وينت تو ذا تويلت دو يو هاف ا فيرس ات سيز جيسس دونت نوت جو تو ذا تويلت سو شت اب سو ناو ريد فور مي يور برايفت سي يور يور Prophet, Jesus, you're a sleep. prophet. I'm okay, asleep. so you're Allah, Allah is asleep. asleep. Okay, hold on. If I show you that Allah now is asleep, what you would do? I'll show you Jesus went to sleep. Okay, and but still Jesus, he was asleep in the in the ocean, and yet he controlled the sea. How sure, a person who is asleep? You. I can show you a verse that Jesus is asleep. You want you are calling him sleep? He controlled the sea. How he can do that? I'm, I'm gonna show you Jesus sleeping. Okay, but he controlled the sea even he was sleeping. What is that? So he closed his eyes. <laughs> he closed his eyes, but obviously he's in control. <laughs> now answer me what kind of god he is short with big ass what kind of god your god allah what god okay well, you don't want to answer about this one okay what about allah is a shin what do you say you refuse allah. jesus to be god as a man but allah is a shin is that true he used to worship a man is it no, is it true is it uh, is it a true that allah is a shin read the hadith for me and this is sahih hadith. Today, listen either Timothy, you want to either you want to debate or you are just going to repeat yourself so is it true because that allah is, is it a true i answer you is it a true that allah is a shin oh allah is not a shin sorry read it it's in the front of you allah has a shin allah has a shin but he's not a shin okay he's not a shin guys allah has a shin but he's not a shin so what else he have So if you have a leg, do you mean you're a leg? So Allah is okay. Okay, 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 okay. So tell me what he have. So Allah Stand has a uh, guys. Allah has a leg. Uh, guys, did you hear it? Rationality. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Did, guy. did you hear it? Allah has a leg. What else he has? Jesus God. Jesus hold God. on. Jesus God. He's what Allah? Hair. Okay, okay but with Jesus, a God, on, he came as a man. Your God, this is how he is. This is not the form of God. <laughs> So listen, listen. This, this is, is not this the form. Fake, this is not the form of God according pagan, to you. You pagan. are the one who's making fun of Jesus being God and being a man. But now you just said to us, Allah has a leg. What else he has? Listen, let me what tell you where you, what else? Uh, Jesus what? becoming a man came what? from. It what? came from the what? Greek what mythology. What else? In the what else? Late <laughs> century. Huh? Listen, listen. What I'm else? Sure. You don't. You don't want to answer. What else Allah has? A, a, a additional to the shin. Do Allah have an ass? Oh, the yoga has ass. Jesus had ass. Well, oh, prove to me that Allah don't have an ass. So are you saying to me? Okay, hold on, hold on. I am going. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. So are you saying to me, Allah, Allah? You, you just said Allah is not a shin. I ask you, hold on. I ask you, Allah is is a shin. He says he's not a shin. He have a leg. Okay, let us draw a leg. So this is the leg of Allah. I ask you, is Allah have an ass? You said no. So what Allah next? What is next here? No ass. What is next? His head. This is the head of Allah. Allah is a leg and a, and a head. Tell me when you finish because I don't want I don't want to have. A, I'm uh, asking you. I'm trying to, to learn about your God. You said to me, Allah is not a shin. Okay, he, uh, sorry, he is not he a has, shin. He has he has a leg. Okay, he has a leg. That's wonderful. Okay, the Hadith says Allah have two eyes. Okay, here we go. So now we have a leg and we have a head of Allah. What is between them? Nothing. You said he have no ass. Okay. Do can Allah have, have a, like do Allah has a stomach? Do Allah has a stomach, or he is just? People want to hear. People okay. want to hear my side of the talking as well. The, 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 come on, bro. Say <laughs> like, each. Yeah. This is the leg of Allah. Let us make it big. And Allah have no ass. Everybody are heard you. Are you, keep are you keep Everybody mocking? heard you. So what is attached to the leg of Allah? What Nobody is next? Like, yeah, listen, the live viewers. This guy doesn't like. What is the next? Like what is next? Be brave and tell us. Okay, Allah has no ass. What is here? Attached and to I his speak. Wait, what are you doing? Where are you drawing? I can't see your drawing. Let me see. I'm a drawing in YouTube. Here we go. People are laughing, dying laughing. Hey. At the What's look of your God. At the, at the look of your God, according to your description. Can I? Can you draw your like? He has a head. He has an ass. He has a dick. He has a leg. Okay. So can you, can you okay. Hold on. Hold on. So Allah is dickless, he right? Excuse my language. Dick Allah is dick. Dick. You, you are the penis. one who used the word. So excuse me. I have to use it. So you are saying that Allah is penis. He have no penis. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said Allah have, okay. You said Allah have no penis. Allah have no ass. So what he have next? The God of the Bible has a penis and an ass. First of all, let me show you. What if I show right now that Allah can have sex and he have a penis? What you would do? What you would do when I show you Jesus has a if penis I show and ass and two legs and God, two hands and uh, 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 The Holy Spirit in the Quran came is in the shape of a perfect man. That's mean the Holy Spirit in the Quran you have a penis. Is that a problem for you? But well, you're not gonna let me speak, so I'm letting you, you speak. I'm letting you speak. I'm saying the Holy Spirit in the Quran came in the shape of a man, perfect man, which means he have a penis. Do you have a problem with that? 
the Holy Spirit. No, we believe we don't believe the Holy Spirit of the Bible. We believe Ruh al Qud. The Ruh al Qud. Don't be stupid. We don't believe in the same Holy Spirit. I agree. I'm asking you. The Quran says that the Holy Spirit of Allah came down in a perfect man shape. Is that true? And he have a penis. Yeah. Okay. Jibreel, so do you have a problem with that? Do you have a, the, okay. the and, that is, and that is supposed to Jibreel. Do you have a problem with the penis of Jibreel? I don't have a problem with the angel becoming a man. No, sorry. No. So no, I'm asking you about specific question. You are the one who mentioned the word penis. I'm asking you, do you have a problem yeah. with the penis I'm of asking, Jibreel? Does Jesus have a penis? I'm asking does you, do you have a problem with the penis of Jibreel? I'm asking you a question. Does God so have a penis? You are, you are just a rude person and you will never answer anything. Get lost. Do you see how we get them busted? The Quran says that the Holy Spirit came down in an image of a perfect man. The Muslim, they say this is Jibreel. He have an ass, he have a penis, he have nipples. <laughs> so why Jesus is a problem for you? And how the Muslim they make the Holy Spirit Jibreel? We don't know. Nowhere in the Quran it says the Holy Spirit is Jibreel, and how he can be holy and his spirit. If he is Jibreel, because according to Quran, angels are not holy, and they are not spirit. Angels are not a spirit; they are created from light, and they have no spirit, and they are not spirit. So look at the stupidity of this cult. Allah has a shin. We say, is Allah shin? He says, no, he is not a shin. He have a leg. Okay, here we go. We got a leg for you. What is next? Allah has an ass? No. <laughs> Allah has a head? <laughs> Unbelievable. A beautiful Allah. I mean, look at this Allah, brother. That's so beautiful. Let's look this. Let's let us, let us draw the, the, the head of Allah, brother. Okay, I will make him handsome for you, brother. This is his nose. Okay, this is look like Trump. Hmm. So this is Allah now. This is your God. So you rejected Jesus for he is coming as a man. You accepted a God who his leg is attached to his head. You look like an octopus. Do you see how silly their argument is? God, he came as a man, but still he's a perfect person. Jesus never did sin. sin. Jesus never have sex. Jesus never do commit a crime. He is a perfect, still he is the perfect God, even though he is in the flesh of a man. What do you say, Abdul? This is Allah? Who want to say I'm lying? What a funny God. He have no ass. But this is not true because Muhammad, he described clearly that Allah, he look in the shape of a man, fat and short with big ass. This guy simply was lying. And this is the hadith in the front of us. Allah is fat, short, and this is the rest of the description, as you see. So look what the Muslims, they do. They refuse to read what their prophet, how Allah is described according to their prophet. Allah come as a fire. They have no problem with that. Allah come as a shin. They have no problem with that. The Holy Spirit came as a man. They have no problem with that. God come as Jesus. They have big problem with that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, brother. What, why you are calling me again? Why? You are a joker. You are not serious. You are not an adult. We can speak seriously. What are you are calling? Are you going to answer or not? Can speak seriously. Are you, I'll ask you a question. Here we go. This your prophet. Are you, do you respect your prophet or not? I am not respecting prophet. Okay, yes. so why you don't take what your prophet says seriously? Here we go. I I I I, I okay, well, ask you. Can, 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 can we just deal with terms I and conditions? I ask you. I ask speak. you. Please, can you read for us what your prophet said? Oh, like, I don't understand. Why am I always in the back? 
can you can you read for me what your prophet said please okay let me read it for you أعوذ بالله من مسكين. Where is this? Where is this? Wa wa Bukhari. It doesn't matter. This is no. This is daif. أتولي مش بعرف. الحديث is daif. إذا أنت ما في دي مينا نسأل منك إيش هو. I don't hear you. Are you talking? Talk. Yeah, I, I already. So no, read it. No, yeah, when I read it. No, no, it, it sounds different when a Muslim, when a holy Muslim read it, my brother. I want you to read it for us. Okay, read I'll read it for you. Okay. Okay, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam can hear me. Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "I've told you so much about the Dajjal Antichrist hmm. that I'm afraid you may not understand. The Antichrist is short, hen toed woolly haired, one eyed, and eye sightedness, and lay that protruding, no deep seated." If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one-eyed. Abda who said Amr ibn al-Aswad was appointed a judge. Yeah. Okay. What does that mean? Is that all? What is it? Is that all? What your prophet? He is. He is afraid that you Muslims will be confused okay, so, about okay, the this look. This is basically the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mm -hmm. describing the jail for the Muslims. Saying, "You're listening when this individual so why comes." Why he is afraid? So no, he has, why he is comparing he between this, Allah? He has these characteristics. Okay, that the jail is a man. Why the prophet is afraid that you will be confused between his look and the look of Allah? Because the no no he's not he's not afraid he doesn't, he doesn't no, mention no afraid if you are confused you okay, hold you're on my friend, your my friend hold on it says if you are confused about him about him who if you are conf uh, if you are confused about him that's the if you're confused about the Dajjal okay and then he compare him to who know that then your he, lord the, is not one eyed so he's confused about what what, what is the confusion is about confusion about the look of allah and the look of the dajjal correct no 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 no, no. sorry no what no, do no, mean? no 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 know that know. your lord I'm is asking. not one eyed hello it says that in the front of you who he's comparing exactly. the dajjal who is fat and short with big ass with who He's not comparing. There's no comparison there. He is comparing. He is describing a Dajjal, and he says, "If you are confused about him, I hey, ask you." Hey, when you compare, okay, listen, okay, 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 okay. If I, if I have, second, if, one second, one if second, I have, say if I have two creatures, I say to you, the first creature you looks like to... this, and he oh. is different from this creature by this. That means the only difference between them is the eye. So we have two creatures. Comparison. One his when name. Compare. We have two creatures. One his name is a Dajjal. And yeah. one, his name is Allah. What the difference yeah. between them? Only one eye, correct? Okay, listen, when you use the word compare, you have to use the English language, you have to use the word however, or likewise, you have to, you, you don't find the word however they're lacking. We just, we just find the word. When he said that, this is, first, first of all, this is a translation. No May, hold on. No this comparison. is a translation. No, there is a comparison. You are not being honest. Guys, if there is a compare here. Yes. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eye. So if you are comfort, co co confused about him, him who? You said that the Dajjal, according to you. No problem. Know that your Lord. Okay, what is the connection between your Lord and the Dajjal? And what the connection yes, between the eye of the Lord and the eye of the Dajjal? So the Prophet mm -hmm. is telling the people, the people that the community the uh, the community of the prophet he's mm -hmm. telling him listen when the the jail comes mm -hmm. he's gonna have these characteristics and then he's saying and then he uh, and then he then said just know your lord is not one eye that's so all he's saying there's no my, comparison i'm asking you listen listen, listen if the, the jail is a man he's a human being is that correct the jail is a human being allah is not a human being allah is a spirit he is a spirit. If, hold on if, if allah is a spirit who is the donkey he said that to you Allah is Allah is we, we cannot see Allah. You we just see Allah hold on, you being. just said Allah is a spirit. I'm asking you seriously, who is the donkey he said to you in Islam Allah. that Allah is a spirit? No one told me I, I did my own research and I'm telling you. So okay, you did, as long as you did your own search, you okay. Give me give me the Musa one who gave you, Musa Give Salaam me the name of Allah. the donkey who says in Islam Allah is a spirit. You are either you agree that you are a donkey, a liar who is making things up. Or you give me the name of the scholar who says Allah is a spirit and he has a spirit. Say a question. I say a question. In the Quran. And don't ask. Allah, don't ask me a question. I'm asking you. Give me the name. Where you got this information from that Allah is a spirit? Oh, can I ask? I got it from the Quran. Wait, 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 from the Quran. Show me. Okay, I'm, I'm listening. Here you go. Okay, so when Musa alayhi salam 
mm. when he went to the when he went to the mountain mm. when he was supposed to and uh, when he said to Allah can I see you mm. and you could not see Allah mm. was Musa alayhi salam looking at a human being in the, according to the Quran corpus and the way Quran tries to where is the verse Allah. hold on don't don't he play say, games where is the verse it says Allah is a spirit where is the verse in the Quran me. where is the verse give me the verse in the Quran it says Allah is a spirit you are a big fat liar what's, what's the definition of a spirit Let's just get that right. Let's get the premise right first of all. Do you know the definition of the spirit? I'm asking you the question. Why are you why are you asking me? I'm asking you. No, you are the one who says Allah is a spirit. So uh, already you know yeah, the definition. No, you don't answer no questions, man. No, I answer. No, no, listen. A spirit is the power of life. A spirit is something power, a power, an energy of life. Power of life. How so when we say when we say when we say God I'm, is I'm a spirit. spirit, the God who is a spirit, he have no physical body, but he have the power of life. He is powerful. And nobody can describe how he is, but he is so powerful and he have the power of life. This is why he can create life, he can give life, and he can take life. But your God is not a spirit okay. and you are lying Listen, to I me. Can I, now, can I, can I, can I we, to that? When they ask Muhammad, what is a spirit? Do you know what your prophet he said? Can I ask you a question? No, you just said you, you uh, gave me the definition talking about of spirit. spirit. Yeah. Let me ask you. So when they ask you your said, prophet, hold on. I, I, how come I know what the spirit is, but your prophet do not know what the spirit? You don't know what spirit is. You got the definition wrong. I'm asking you. Okay, what is definition? Give me definition of a spirit. You gave me definition of a spirit. Okay, give me the spirit. Give me the spirit. Give me the definition. Does that mean give me the definition of the spirit? spirit? Give me the definition. I'm listening. I'll give you the English definition from the Oxford Dictionary. Don't give me from the. Uh, give me Islamic definition, not a language definition. Islamic definition. What is the spirit? The definition you gave us of a spirit applies to a human being. So does that mean I'm a spirit? <laughs> you are the one who says to me. You are the one who says to me that the spirit. Is Allah and now you are saying the definition I gave you is the spirit of a human being how silly you are the human being okay, can give keep... life a human being he can give life okay a spirit is a supernatural being mm. often but not exclusively a non-physical entity mm. such as a ghost fairy angel or okay. God in English Bibles the spirit mm. specifically denotes the Holy Spirit spirit is often okay, used so to refer what, to the consciousness you are reading what the Christians, that's you are reading, a spirit, you are reading what spirit the Christians is say is what, what is a spirit in Islam <laughs> Abdul what is a spirit okay, in Islam so, what is a spirit in Islam according to Islam let me give you the Islamic definition mm. what if I show you that your God is an idiot you do not know Oh, listen, yeah, listen, he's gonna keep mocking. You don't want to have a. I'm not mocking. Here we go. You are a liar. There's nowhere it says what the spirit is in Islam. Here we go. They ask thee concerning the spirit. They ask Muhammad, can you tell us what is the spirit? Muhammad, he says to them, Allah, okay, Allah knows. <laughs> Allah said to Muhammad, yeah, yeah, tell them, yeah, tell yeah, them yeah, it's from yeah, the yeah, command yeah, of yeah, Allah. Yeah. What does that mean? What is, the, what is the answer? They ask yeah, him, what yeah, is yeah. the spirit? They ask him, what is the spirit? He do not know. This is not an answer. Yeah, let's commit cliche. That's huh? what that's what we say, isn't it? Huh? Let's commit cliche. You know some young Basir. What what? Let's commit cliche. You know some young Basir. That's the answer. This is a verse from the Old Testament. So what? Nothing like him. I nothing like my finger too. Do you want to worship my finger according to science? Nothing like my finger. Nothing like my eye. Nothing yeah, like my, my my skin. Nothing like my DNA. So is that mean I'm okay. God? Stop being stupid. I'm asking you. You say that Allah is a I'm spirit. To, I I'm want you to, to show me. To, I want you to show me the source where you got this information from. You are a liar, hypocrite, and you are fabricating information where it says in Islam that God is a spirit. Listen, okay. Listen, if I if I retract that, would would you would you would you make you, your life any better? I will I will apologize for you, Your Majesty, if you can show me that. <laughs> you cried. Okay, listen, listen. Let me just give you the description of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala within the Quran. Don't tell me. Allah's, don't uh, tell me. Give me answer. Where it says in Islam, Allah is a spirit. Well, listen. Why you stuck with one 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 point that I made? Because I this is what we are talking about. We are talking about Allah being a, a physical being, or He is being a spirit. So Show why you are Allah says a physical let, being. Let me Show get me you busted. Let me get you busted. Like, you're you're, you're you, fabricated. You you're are, fabricated. You are, you are get busted. Here we go. This is your Islamic website, and this is the fatwa. And the fatwa says Allah is not a spirit, and he has no spirit. So why you are lying? Hmm. Fatwa number five zero seven seven four. A Muslim saying he is debating with a Christian and asking, Does God has a spirit? Look like they are debating with me. What is the answer? Okay. Uh, no. Okay. So why you are lying? You why you are lying saying Allah is a spirit? 
You said Allah is a physical being. I tried to contradict that by saying Allah is a spirit. That's only you cannot prove. To oh, me so you are lying. Quran, you, you are trying. You are, yeah, you are trying by lying. You, you see, and look how stupid what you just said, guys. He was trying to to prove Allah is not a physical being. But isn't it you who said to me Allah has a leg? Show me where Allah says. Hold on. Are you the one? Are you the one who says to me Allah has a leg? Hold on. Are you the one who said to me Allah has a leg? Yeah. Does that mean it's physical? It's physical. <laughs> a leg is not physical, guys. Uh, a leg no, is not no, physical. No, no, Allah no. have a spiritual leg. <laughs> it's completely shit. You know, that's it. That's the answer to you. It's completely shit. There's nothing unto like him. Nothing like me too. Nothing like exactly. you too. I never saw an idiot like you. Person. To be honest with Yo, you, I never saw Arabian, an idiot Arabian, like you and your Arabian. prophet. Does that mean Muhammad is God too? Now I'm asking you now. Where do you get this life from? So Allah is not a spirit. So what he is? Allah is not a spirit. So what he is? Can I can I can I ask you? Can I, listen, let me just don't go ask me a question. Uh, I'm asking you. Allah is not a spirit, and this is what the Muslims say. Let me say let me speak clearly. for ten seconds. So 10 seconds, Allah is what? Allah, Allah is what? Seconds. If He is not a spirit, what He is? Can you give me ten seconds, man? Ten seconds. Listen. I will give I'm, you ten minutes. I'm listening. Just don't change the topic. Seconds. Allah is not a spirit. I'm so not what, topic. So I'm not, I'm not changing the subject. Just trust me. I'm not gonna change. Okay, go ahead. I don't trust Muslims. Go ahead. I don't trust Christians. And the clock, the clock has a hand. The clock has a hand, mm. we have a hand, mm. and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a hand. Mm. He's in the Quran, Allah so, from so himself, Allah must be a clock. Uh, two right hands. So Allah must be a clock. The clock has a hand, okay. we have a hand. Allah the clock a... has a hand that beats himself. Okay, so the all, all, all of them, they are hands, but they look different. It doesn't matter, yeah. they are a hand. Are you stupid or what? Uh, all of them, they are uh, hands. I'm I'm to... When you say Allah yeah. have a leg, when you are the one who said to me, Allah have a leg, what you do with his leg? I never said that. Allah, yeah, the lie, I said he has a chin. Listen, Allah has a shin or a leg. I don't care. You are the one who said the word leg, not me. I said shin. You, no, said, you leg. said it. You said you, you start drawing this leg. I don't know what happened. You are the one who said leg. I said shin. You said leg. I said, I said two right hands, a shin, and you <laughs> No, I am the one who said Allah has a is He is a shin. You said okay, listen, to I me, no. You, I just gave you analogy. I gave you analogy. Ah, analogy. Try. Okay, Mr. Analogy. I'm asking you now. So Allah have a shin. Is that shin is physical or not? Yeah, we, we don't know if it's physical. We don't know it's spiritual. Okay, let, me get, you so let me get you. Let me get you. Let me get you. Let me get you. Let, let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. Your prophet, he said it's a shape. Your prophet, he said it is a shape. Is that correct? Did he? Did your prophet say it is a shape? Yes or no? No, you, speak, you claim to know Arabic, but I'm trying to speak to you in you a don't way speak that Arabic you anyway. I'm asking I'm you. Speak. Did your prophet say that Allah has a shape? Yes or no? What does the word tafid mean? Tafid. Does the word shape mean physical See, being or not? Question. What does the word tafid mean? Tafid. You know Arabic. What does the word tafid? What the word tafid mean? Tafid. Uh, you know what? I'm going to change tafid for you, and I will do tafid. Do you know ah, what tafid means? Finish, finish. Do you know finish, what tafid? I will put a diaper for you. What the word shape for you mean? Are you gonna ask me two million questions? I can't answer one. I'm not asking you many no. questions. You said Allah is not a physical being. Allah in the your prophet saying Allah has a shape. They said, are we going to see Allah? Okay, he said, yes, you will see him very easy. And now he is saying he will come to you in a shape. So are you saying your prophet is an idiot? He do not know how Allah look like and you know better? You see, I, I, I can't get two words out. I can't get two words out before what, you what? try to cut me off. So no, I'm, not to, yeah. I'm listening. What is the it's shape of Allah? Your prophet said Allah is a shape. Do you agree with your prophet or not? I listen. Is having a shape? Where is the correlation between having a shape? And this is not the question. Do you agree with your prophet that Allah has a shape? Yes or no? I believe he has a form. Shape. He said shape. Form. He said shape. Form. It's in the front of you. Form. It's in the front form. of you. That, okay. What? That word. Okay. What? Form. Hold on. Hold on, guys. It's a form. What is the form of Allah? We don't know. Let's commit. You just. Shape. You are the one who said to me it's a shin. You forgot. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's commit to I, I gave you an analogy which you could not argue with. I, I, I appeal to you. Just get lost. I have time, enough time of kids. It says here, Allah will come to the shape other than the one they saw first time. What is the shape of Allah you saw first time, you liar? Dragon? Tree? Potato? Chicken? Turkey? Elephant? You must have never saw all the shape. And then he will say, I am your Lord. And they will say, you are not our Lord. Get lost out of here. And they throw potato tomato at him. And none will speak to him. So Allah will stay in the corner, poor guy. <laughs> they did not talk to me. I told them I'm Allah, but they don't want to talk to me. If we ask Zakir Naik what happened, 
he will say the following a brother and sister they the person in the name of the curtain print and he would make fun of Allah Allah will come to that in a tape and the curtain print he did to what the Muslim don't accept to him because obviously number one maybe he is not saving his beard and Allah always he saved his beard it's possible that Allah did not take a shower and he think and it may be possible that Allah he is not wearing the clothes and he's naked and it's why the Muslim they could not believe Allah is naked and it's possible that Allah look ugly and it's why the Muslim they said we take refuge by Allah from you and why the Muslim don't accept Allah Allah know best uh, brother Zach and Naik and then Allah will come and he will show his shin absolutely so Allah because he is rejected for a time he will come to them in the original shape which is a sin and the sin of Allah is so beautiful and when Allah he saw his sin all the believers they will go down in the front of the sin the shin of Allah is presented to you all of you bow down to his shin and Allah will be proud about his shin and he will say something you know I'm sexy and I know it that 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 I'm sexy and I know <laughs> What a cult! What a stupid cult, man! So look at this idiot. He fabricated how many lies to cover lies. They don't know this, this donkey. He worship his God all his life. He do not know that Allah is not a spirit, and he has no spirit, and he is just a physical being. So all of you waiting for the moment, Allah will put his leg like this. That's it. Hmm? By the way, the first time I saw the this uh, so, a song, I never saw it in video clip. It's disgusting, really. It's a bunch of guys wearing panty underwear. It's stupid, but it's fit with the Quran. I mean, what I, I have to use it. <laughs> I saw it just a week ago. I think I I think Google they spy at us. By the way, you you say something, it appear in the advertising. So. I said like sexy and I know it and then the and I, I find it uh, so just a song in YouTube <clears throat> So this is Islam my friend This is Islam I'm sexy and I know it and we will see Allah what we will see him I say to him Allah has a shin he says no Allah have a leg supposedly now he fix it it's fixed it's different brother Okay, the clock have a, a hand, and you have a hand, and Allah have a hand. Do you think it's the same, brother? It doesn't matter. It's a hand. Even the hadith says Allah have a five fingers. The Sheikh of Mirza never call. I don't know. I'm here. I got my Skype is open, as you see. We never even texted us. He will never call us. <clears throat> By the way, is this uh, is the shin of uh, is the shin of Allah is better? You know, uh, uh, Mahdi. I know you are a Shia, but is Shia is not better. Let me tell you. Okay, I, I want to ask you: Do Allah has a throne according to you as a Shia? Do Allah has a throne according to the Shia? Yes or no? What do you say? Okay, is the throne of Allah is physical or metaphorical? Is it physical or metaphorical? What do you mean? I don't know. You know, only Christian prince, you know. I mean, what's wrong? Who is a Muslim matter us? Is the chair of Allah is metaphorical or it is physical?
any Muslim the Quran make it so easy the Quran says that the size of uh, the chair of Allah is the same as the size of the throne of Allah so you cannot say it's not physical hmm? is that true if we go into the Quran <coughs> We will find how Allah described his uh, his throne. Isn't it the Quran says that eight mountain goats carry Allah, which is in the Quran called Malaika? Chapter 69, verse number 17. So this is a physical throne. Okay. If Allah, he have a physical throne, that means Allah is a physical being. Remember, your God is not the same as the God of the Christian. He is not a spirit and he has no spirit. He is not a spirit and he has no spirit. Yet he have hands, he have etc. He is how described. And now he have angels who they are carrying his throne. Who is in the top of the throne? Allah. Okay. What the point of having a physical throne if you are not a, not a physical? I'm trying to to understand you. Do you want to call me Mahdi? Call me. You sound like a nice guy. Call me. What is the point? If I have okay, imagine I have a couch, but I cannot even sit on it. So what the point? And then I make the angels carry the couch, and I am in the Quran says It's he's above the throne. So he's above the throne, but he is not sitting in the throne. He's flying on top of it. He's a fish. Islam is a collection of stupidity. Now, my friend, how prophet they will sit on a throne? Five prophets sit in the throne? That's stupid. Unless they are gods. The throne is a symbolic of authority. That's why it's called a throne. Do we have any Muslim want to give it better try? So look what we learned here. The Muslim they try to deny Jesus for God he came as a man, but they accept Allah who have a leg, who is a leg, and the Muslim they said he have no ass. I feel sorry for him. How you said, man? What do you said in your in your neck? What do you said in your head? Allah cannot say it. Allah standing all the time. Thank God I have an ass. Otherwise, where I would sit, I'm going to sit. That's horrible. Man, oh man. I spend my life standing in one leg. And you notice here when the Muslim they speak about private parts, they try to insult Jesus supposedly by saying, Jesus, you have a private part. But the Muslim they say the Holy Spirit came to Mary as a perfect man and I never saw a Muslim insulting What they call him Jibreel for coming in a perfect man shape Was Jibreel holy? You see the Quran says Holy Spirit Question was the Holy Spirit stay holy after become a man 
listen to this carefully Christians this is very important I want you to take notes as long as the Quran call use that by the way this is taken from the uh, from the Bible as long as the Quran call the Holy Spirit Holy Spirit as exactly as in the Bible all right the Holy Spirit in the Quran came to Mary and appeared to her as a perfect man after the Holy Spirit became a man is this still holy or became dirty the Muslim they will say stay holy bingo Islam got busted do you see how easy to get them busted so how come an angel according to Islam the Holy Spirit is an angel is a breed okay how come an angel called Holy Spirit he become a man still the Muslim consider him holy if God he became a man he is not holy you see the double standard because Islam is a counterfeit of a Christianity and Judaism and other belief Islam is very easy to debunk and to show how stupid it is he can call me who is holding him so did you guys take a note did you take a note the Muslim they say the Holy Spirit appeared to Mary as a man Hmm? All right, looks like we have somebody is, is contacting us. We told him, welcome to call if you wish. <clears throat> Anyone? All those verses speaking about Isa. Mary, she receive a gift from God. Chapter 19, verse number 19. The Holy Spirit appeared to her as a perfect man. And obviously, this is a theft from the Bible and yeah so what do you say Muslims And look here how the Muslims they fabricate the translation it says and then we send to her our angel it doesn't say angel it says our spirit the Muslim claim that the spirit is Jibreel it is the Holy Spirit Any Muhammadan guys anyone wanna call me he can call me what I can do so call me okay call me what I would do <laughs> call me <laughs> shall I sing for him call me baby he call me 
No, he's not calling. This is not true. Because if you, if anyone call me, you will see it right away in the screen and you will hear it. Our Skype is on. Maybe he's calling a different person. There is some Muslim trying to copy my uh, my Skype name. Be careful. Give me your ID in Skype. I will call you. That is your Skype ID. There is the ad in the beginning. That is the ad. That is part of the ID. Are you, okay. Are you sure? So this is the ID. Okay. Hold on. We have almost time. إحنا ما نتبع دين اسمه المسيحي أنا ما أدري من فين جيب اللخبطة هذه إحنا نتبع مخلص اسمه المسيح حكاية الدين هذه ما هي موجودة في الكتاب المقدس هذه أشياء الإسلام علمنا هي. You see, we ask them to call us, and then they play for us. And by the way, I think this guy, he thinks I'm a Muslim. I cannot find that ID Skype. You guys give me wrong ID. Any brave Muslim? Anyone? Any uh, brave Muslim, smart Muslim, educated Muslim, ignorant Muslim? We take all kinds of Muslims. Anyone? So as you see, Islam cannot stand Simple questions. It's a silly cult. They are worshiping a shin, worshiping a leg, and I don't think even the leg of Allah is a is a is a is a is, a, is, a, is something uh, sexy. I think it's it's uh, something ugly. What kind of God he will show his shin? Uh, show us your finger. What what is that? God he show his shin, and uh, people they bow down. Brother, after five minutes, brother, we are going to see the shin of Allah, brother. Brother, do you think the shin of Allah is white, brother? Absolutely, brother. Everything in heaven is white, brother. He's very white. And even, brother, you can see the marrow of his bones. Remember, Muhammad, he promised that in the heaven, we will not see women like this, as you see in the screen. Absolutely not. We will see different style of women different beauty something you never saw before so beautiful you cannot even imagine the beauty of you, the beauty of the women in the heaven brother the prophet said in the heaven of allah we will have very beautiful women very sexy from the kind who sing always sexy and you know it and they are so beautiful to the point you see the marrow of their bones because they are so white oh boy I cannot wait to get those at least I will get 72 of those at least do you think I will have time to do live broadcast there I don't think so and look at the high years man if it's getting hot here this is very exciting i don't know what's happening with the men in the chat who is watching this beauty 
look at that. Oh boy. Oh man. Oof. Oof. It's not hot here, but I think we need to turn the fan on. So Allah, brother, He promised us this beauty, brother. If you think we are making fun, we are not. Muhammad, he says that women in the heaven of Allah, they will have white skin to the point you can see the marrow of their bones. So we are not making fun. This is Sahih. Do you see it? This is this is what they believe, my friend. The Prophet, he swear by Allah, that each one of you will have etc. of the Huris, who is so beautiful. And by the way, he says here pure, pure is not pure, it's about white. They are so white and they are transparent. Finally, if your wife she eat your hamburger, you will see it. She cannot say, I did not get honey, I did not eat your hamburger. No, she cannot do that no more because you can see through her bones, not only her stomach. So beautiful to the point the marrow of the bones of their legs will be seen through the bones and the flesh. Look how beautiful. The brother, how you can refuse such a beauty, brother? Don't you want to see the flesh of the the marrow of the bones of your mother-in-law? Be honest with me. <clears throat> okay, imagine this: this is your mother-in-law, and you visit her in her bedroom in the heaven, brother. Mean. What is this picture? Oops, that's bad. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> when it's small as an icon, it appears differently. What is that, man? This is so beautiful. I think this woman, she ate a Big Mac. And I think there's some poo-poo there. I can see poo-poo. I don't know if you notice. You know? Look here. There's some. I could look. See? <clears throat> mm. Very beautiful. I mean, who is that? Who is the one who can come with such a religion save Allah? I mean, we have to face the truth here. That's, that's beyond the uh, normal uh, human being. Give me your Skype. I will refute your lies. Give me your Skype. I will. I will, uh, I will call you. Give me your Skype. Post your Skype. <clears throat> Give us your Skype. I cannot see your ID. Okay. Give me your Skype. I will. I will call you. <laughs> <laughs> I am invisible, brother, like Allah. So all the Muslims, they call me. They can't find me except you, brother. Why? Are you searching under the table or in Skype? Give us your Skype. Give us your Skype. Who will call you? Who is a Muslim today is going to leave the cult of Islam? How many? 10? 20? How many each time we go live on here? How many Muslims they see this and they die laughing at their cult? Die laughing about the previous scholar. He says that Allah is a spirit, showing us how stupid this cult is. The followers who worship this God do not know that Allah is not a spirit. You believe it? Growing men, growing women, they do not know that Allah is not a spirit and He has no spirit. Which means they are praying to the wrong God. Because if you think Allah is a spirit and He has a spirit, it means you are believing different Allah. What is Allah? Who is this Allah? You have no idea. And now he go, he searched in a website, he found that a Muslim says, 
Okay, Allah has no spirit. So now he changes belief in Allah. Imagine how easy it is. From God with a spirit to God with no spirit. In a blink of an eye. Just because he says, the scholar, he says, Allah has no spirit, brother. So we worship a God who have a spirit all our life. And suddenly, in a blink of an eye, we switch our religion to God who has no spirit. This religion is like somebody going to the beach before he entered the swimming uh, beach area he is wearing a full suit after that he is wearing a bikini this is how fast they change does the horis has leg sure they have legs come on beautiful legs Phew, man and not only that, by the way, the whore, the whore in the heaven of Allah, when one of us, the men, we have fight with women in our house, like you have a daughter or you have your wife, you know, or if you are a Muslim, we have four wives, the whore, right away, they will start cursing your wife. And they will say to him, they will curse her from the sky, say, same on you, he is for us. He is there just a guest. Why are harming him? You believe it? Yeah. I mean, unbelievable, which means they can hear us right now. Yes, brother. And they will start cursing your wife. And they will sing for you. Get my book, uh, Sex and Allah, and die laughing from the stupidity of, 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 the, of this religion. And by the way, uh, Muslims are buying this book like crazy six and Allah it's two volume and number one buyers for it are Muslims look what will happen brother when you fight with your wife in the earth the Prophet said whenever a woman harms her husband this is a uh, woman women in the chat listen carefully okay listen to carefully what happening to you Okay, when one of you harm her husband, what happened? Look what happened. The prophet speaking, that means this is serious. When, whenever a woman harm her husband, <clears throat> in this world, you see the prophet, he is very good in details. In this world, not the other world. In this world, that would outdo any right. This is, by the way, fabrication. doesn't say there anything about do right. Are you saying in Islam you can harm your husband with do right? <laughs> I mean, the translator, they try to fix it. They make it a blind. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> now, what the heck is that? Are you saying to me that a Muslim and woman in Islam, she can harm her husband with do right? Like what she would do to him? She would cut his uh, nails. <laughs> and then he says his wife among the Horis in the Jannah they will say you must not harm him may Allah destroy you may Allah kill you he is only passing guest there why you are doing leave him alone leave Brittany alone what the heck How Muhammad knew this? This is so beautiful. So now I am now I feel really I'm sexy and I know it. I mean, look, women are fighting over me. Women are fighting with me in earth, women fighting over me in heaven. What do you want more, brother? What do you want more? Leave him alone. He is just a guest there. Shame on you. My husband, are you okay? Did she hit you in your balls? This is the most important part for us. We don't care about the list. Please hit him in his nose, not his balls. What the heck? That's so beautiful. You feel you are protected, brother. I mean, you have really who defend you. 
Do we have any Abdul want to say something? You see, we Christian, we have Santa Claus. He 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 he's saying uh, jungle bears, jungle bears. What what Muslim will go to heaven? What they will hear? Jungle balls, jungle balls, jungle all the way. Balls is here, balls is there, balls all the way. La, la. And the women, they please protect his balls. Please bring him here. Allah give him perfect penis. He come to us here. Jungle. What what the heck is that? This is so beautiful. The whole heaven is about sex, women. Vagina private part women. They are so white. So we can see their marrow of the bones So beautiful. I'm really being touched Any abus They weren't saying that, and that <laughs> no. <laughs> you see, uh, I'm very, I'm very natural person. I don't put makeup. I don't speak perfectly correct. People who like it, like it. Don't like it, don't listen. This is how I am. I cannot be polite explaining something not polite because it's not polite anyway. Did Muhammad mention the vaginas? Yes. Did he mention penises? Yes. So why I cannot say it? If you don't say it, you are hiding the truth. Correct, guys? If you claim that because you are being polite, or let us say I'm a Christian, I should not use such a language. No, you should use it. Because we are using it here not to speak dirty. We are using it to expose the truth. And here we go. This is your prophet saying what he's saying. Uh, Mirza is saying, how could you say Islam is about sex? Mirza is texting me. Let us call Mirza. Let's see what, what happened, Mirza. Mirza is now eating. He must be eating. Always is eating. 24 hours, 7 days a week. Why you don't answer? Look, look what Mirza said to me. Allah, he ordered women to wear head scarf. <laughs> Allah, he ordered women to wear head scarf, but he gave them verses to do suckling to a stranger. So your wife, she covered her head, but she gave your neighbor her boobs. MashaAllah. And man to be clean? How a man can be clean? Your prophet used to have sex with all his 13 wives without washing. How he can be clean? You tell me. Call me, call me, call me, baby. <laughs> the man have to be clean. Allah ordered the women to cover themselves. You're right. You made the women a, you know, a, a goods for sale and buy. Muta, all kind of false marriages. Wash yourself every five days. Mirza, uh, uh, come on. I, I want you to answer, answer. Yes, Mirza. Mute you, mute you. Mute you. Give me one second, brother. Hello. Yeah. Well, I just have. Uh, I just want to respond real quick. Okay. Um, because I don't have very long. So the reason we we Muslims are clean. We you know women wear headscarves so they don't get molested. Um, men and women we wash ourselves five times a day. You wash yourself five you times a day. Since when? When? When, when, when you know, wash yes, yourself? When yes. you wash yourself? Okay. Let me ask you. Was your prophet a clean person? Of course, he was uh, praying every day. He was washing himself. He was, he was looking at him, you know, everything. Okay, so if somebody have a fleece in his head, is he clean? Say again. If somebody his head is full of lice, is he clean? Uh, not physically. 
physically, but uh, not, not mentally, not mentally. Not mentally, but you say to us, you wash yourself five five times a day. So how somebody he wash himself? He, how somebody he wash himself five times a day? He is full of lies. 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 Wait, uh, flies or lies? Lies, lies, fleas, lies, lies. The lies. insect who eat is a suck your blood. Oh, yeah, the insect if, if which say, which suck your blood. Those because somebody is not taking shower for long, they lay eggs and they grow in your body. So was your prophet, as you claim, washing himself five times a day? Well, well, an insect. What do you mean by insect? Because we have insects now. Like if you lice, sleep, and you, lice. you don't know what lies. Mos mosquito. Don't, don't you don't mosquito know what lies. Do, you don't know what lies. Lying. Lies. Read the hadith in front of us on the screen. Go ahead. Can you read for me, brother? You know, I don't the know. I, I'm illiterate, like your prophet. I don't know how to write, how to read. I gotta open YouTube then all again, brother. Could you please uh, mm -hmm. let me see? Okay, I'll open it. What's happening? Right, right. Right. All right, it's hmm. okay. Um, your prophet, uh, his head is full of lies, correct? I must even Malik said, whenever the apostle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala went to Quba, um, he used to visit Um Haram, hmm. daughter of uh, Milan, uh, who was married to hmm. Ubada hmm. bin al Sabit. Hmm. One day, when he visited her she gave him food and said clearing his head of lies all oh, lies mm. the narrator the rest of the tradition mm. nice yeah how nice lies. yeah how nice so, so is lies no, is I, is because he's a clean I, or because he is dirty um uh, Right, so it says here yeah, that lies do not care whether the person has squeaky clean hair or dirty hair. Hmm. But if you wash your hair always, they would not be able to uh, lay their eggs. They care. They they try for sure. You know, they are insect, whatever they can live. But if a person who cannot, who don't wash, then they will be able to lay their eggs. Your prophet is here like this. Wait, let me open it. life. Okay, mm. um, right. This is the head of your prophet. Ah, uh, no, that's exaggerating it, man. No, it says, it says, like, even your prophet, he says, Allah, he tests us with lies, he tests the prophet with lies until the lies almost oh, killing him. He, even he says, until the lies almost killing him, killing him, he's dying from it. By the way, I, I heard there is a book. It's written by one of the lies was in the panty of the prophet. It says, "The memory of the prophet panty." She because she was a witness. She was there. You know, she saw everything. He said, "Lies almost killed me." So what do you mean exaggerating? Now let me ask you. You said your prophet he washed himself. Do he wash himself with the clean water or filthy water? Um, it depends what water is available. Man. Okay, are you are you allowed to wash yourself with water? Have your wife blood from period? Like let's say there's a big um, what's the thing in the o oasis, right? What? You know what an oasis is? What? You know what an oasis is? I'm asking you. If a woman she have, if your wife she have period blood she have those things she women use and then she throw it in the bathtub and you fill the bathtub with water okay and there is her blood there so are is it okay for you as a muslim to shower yourself for wudu with that water um 
Look, if if the blood is on the water, what you lich lich the part of the water where what you use for your thing, would do. Yeah. If that contains blood, yes. But if if the let's say you got a big, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Pound. If you have a blood in the water, it's okay to do wudu with it. No, no, no. You gotta show me that D first, man. Okay, so no, I'm not saying I say. I'm asking you. Okay, what about if there's a dead dog in the water? So why you got many dead animals in the sea? Does that mean you can use not in water the sea, the in sea? a small water, a small container? Let us say a water have six foot wide. And and the water height is six for your is big, yeah, man. And, and the and the six foot is is big. Well, wait, let me see. Six foot uh, bathtub. Six foot is six. A, it is a size and half of the size of your. It's the same I know size of your bathroom. In America, because we got different things, man. We got six meters. Okay, six foot is like uh, uh, two meters or less, uh, actually. Six less. Feet. No, it must be more. A 1.8 hmm. less than two meters so if we had a dead dog in 1.8 meter and the water is your knee is it okay to wash yourself with the dead water with the dead dogs in the water mm. yeah, that, that, that's pretty close you know that's pretty, pretty close but if it's like like uh, if it's uh, what are you like talking about if we have a dead animal a dead dog that do you know how much how stinky is going to be? <laughs> What's the clothes? So listen, dead dog in a small container, let's say a jacuzzi. It's like a jacuzzi. So you have a dead dog in the jacuzzi. Are you is it okay for you to prepare yourself to pray to Allah by such a water? Well, it depends on which which time the dog died. If the dog died recently, then the water of the pot that you're washing. Okay, yourself, what if it is a stink? What if the water clean. already stink? What if the water already stink and people even throw garbage? So people they throw garbage, women blood, and dead dogs in that water. So what do you do? Is it okay? Hmm. Well, that, that, that's disgusting, bro. You got that's disgusting. That Thank you very much. Man. Finally, he said it. Guys, here we go. You're a prophet. Look what he's doing. It was said, Oh Allah Messenger. Well, it wasn't two feet. Don't change the topic. Everybody heard you saying it is disgusting. Huh? If, if, it it's, if it's uh, one, one feet, you if said it's two feet, you it's said it but... is disgusting. Everybody heard you, right? No, but it depends on the size of the bathtub. Uh, we will show you the size. The size is small, the same as we told you. We are not lying. Read with me. Look what he's saying. I passed. The people yes, ask the message of Allah. The people ask yes. the message of Allah. Can we perform ablution out of the well of Buddha, which is well into which menstrual clothes, dead dogs, and stinking things are thrown in it? He replied, Water is a pure and nothing make it impure. What do you say? The people ask the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hmm. Can we perform ablation out of the well of Buddha? We, which is a well into which a menstrual clothes hmm. that dogs and stinking uh, things were thrown. Hmm. He replied, water is pure and is not the foul of anything. Hmm. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> we, 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 as, uh, we, um, we, as, um, we as humans, yeah, we can even make the seawater clean as drink water. Abdul, man. Abdul, listen. We can take out this the is a small, tiny container of water. Have all this garbage. People, they throw garbage there. It says a stinky garbage. And they throw women blood from period. And there's dead dogs in that water. Your prophet answer saying, water is a pure, not defiled by anything. Do you agree with him? Be honest. Water is pure and it's not foul by anything. Mm. What, what do you mean by the foul? First of all, it's mean he is washing with it, don't you see? It's clean. He is saying it's clean. They're asking him, Are you going to wash with it? Can we wash with it? He said, Yeah, it's pure. Well, the definition of the foul, brother, it says, You see, you are now not uh, being honest. You are not being honest. When he say it's pure, it's mean it's, it's clean. This is what pure mean. And when you prepare yourself to the prayer, you do ablution, you make yourself a pure too. 
so you can meet a uh, god in the so, prayer, so right? if you got if you got mm. Mm. is it is so it is it, Quran, is it the Quran? Shot, is it the Quran? Is it the Quran says shot, women they cannot even pray when they have their period because they are impure so how a blood of women in the water make you pure how garbage how dead dogs look at this hadith here this is nicer for you read it I passed by Allah prophet when he was yeah, performing wudu yeah, yeah, yeah. from the will of Buddha I said are you performing wudu from it when garbage is thrown in it people are even uh, they, they found this is strange even normal people don't do that this is obviously stinky you see nobody will ask why you are doing that unless the water is really bad correct guys if the water is a clean nobody will ask me why you are cleaning yourself in a clean water people do we agree if somebody showering himself in a clean water nobody asking nobody will ask him why you are cleaning yourself in a clean water but because it's a disgusting water and by the way the translation is not accurate it says here the stinky things are thrown away not only garbage stinky garbage so why your prophet doing that no answer so you're a prophet full of lies you're a prophet he uh, uh, shower with dead dogs you're a prophet uh, uh, have uh, 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 what about having sex with all the wives with one wash do you do that and as a Muslim you sleep again with, you sleep with all, all the women you have in one wash you can you, you don't can. wash if those if those are your wives mm. do you wash or you uh, go from a wife to a wife to a wife what do you say in both cases you know you know you, you are afraid to say anything because you know i'm going to show you your prophet he sleep with all his wives in one wash this is what you're afraid otherwise you know the answer you know it's not not right but because uh you know you know i'm going to show you do your prophet have sex with his wives when they have their period um I mean, if you have sex with a wife and she's on the period, she won't get pregnant. What does this have to do with the question? And and, and that's scientific, man. You you can't get pregnant if you uh, <laughs> what does on your to period. Do? I'm asking you, is it halal for a Muslim to have sex with his wife when she have her period? I don't know. You tell me, brother. Well, you're Let a prophet. That, you, your God, Allah, He says. Your women is the same as the ground. Dig in the ground as you wish when you wish. Is that correct? Mm, yes, sir. yes or no? Yes. Okay. What kind of a prophet he do that? And why the Quran describe women as if they are a ground to dig on them? Show me the English translation, brother, and I'll show you what it means. It's in the front of you. Yeah, right. So uh, your wives are a steel unto you. Mm -hmm. So approach your till when or how you will. But do some good act for your soul beforehand and fear Allah and know that ye are not to meet um, or to meet him in the hereafter and give these good tidings to those who believe. So, um, what do you want to you? What this means is like, yeah, the, um, it's not, it's not like really tough, like you gotta oppress women and stuff. No, no, it's not ah, that, bro. It says there, you, you, it says, the, person the, house. Hearth, the word hearth, what, what tilth mean? Explain to me, my English is not good. What tilth mean? The word tilth, which one? The word tilth, what the tilth mean? Oh, uh, tilth means, wait, how can I say this? Um, tilth meant, uh, give me a second, uh. It's at the edge of my head now. Now you tell me. <coughs> Wait, let me see. Suddenly you do not know? I think I think I heard the word once. English is my main language, man. I live in the, the West of Europe, man. You live in the West? I live in the East. I'm Chinese. 
What, what they say? <laughs> well, speak English, my friend. You speak and you live in the West. It's an English word. So what they're oh, saying? Wait. Oh, wait, let me see. Um, dic dictionary, man. Oh, dictionary. Okay. All right, it says here uh, cultivation of mm -hmm. land tillage, the condition of tilled soil, mm -hmm. especially in respect of suitable for sowing seeds, prepared server soil, man. Okay. So this is how you describe having sex with your wives in Islam? Can you um? Wait. Yeah. Um. Can you for something else? What? Talk about something else? Okay, we we'll confirm. Okay, forget, forget, forget. Let me ask you: What is your shake? What is your shake? You told me your shake will call me Friday. Arabic. It's actually something different in this passage. What? <laughs> he hang up. <laughs> I feel sorry for this Mirza. He's a he's a nice kid, but I feel sorry for him. He tried to defend. He do his best. But you know, I I like about him. He is not rude. He is not you know. He is not a you know. But I feel sorry for him still. Like sometimes he get upset. He get angry. Like especially when he sees somebody calling me and leaving Islam. He go crazy. He's a liar. He's not a Muslim. But still, he's in his heart. He's a poor kid. Where is the sheikh? You promised me your sheikh will call me Friday. What happened, Mirza? Where is your shaky sheikh? So look what we have. We have a crazy guy. Obviously, this is a sign of a man. He's a crazy, a man who take a shower with dead dogs. He cannot be a normal person. Correct, guys. There is no way Muhammad is a normal person. Even the Arab, they are wondering, what are you doing? Why you are taking shower there? If you are taking shower in a clean water, nobody will wonder. Be wondering, what are you doing? Even the followers of him, he says to him, what are you doing? Are we going to take this? It have dead dogs. It have woman blood. It have menstruation rags. Flesh of dogs, which means the dogs are, are, are now in the, in the, in the, in the stage of, uh, you know, being, you know, it's not the perfect. Uh, like the body is already, it became pieces. All of those things is dumped in this place. And then you take a shower there, you have to be mentally ill. Literally. What the purpose of taking a shower if the shower will make you more dirty? You know what I mean? What the point of this shower? If this uh, supposed to he is doing that, by the way, this is not a shower. Muslims don't take a shower. They put some uh, uh, water under the arm, some water in their hands, some water in their feet, some water in their ears, which is funny, and some in their nose because shaitan sleep in their nose. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And then that's it. I go to the prayer to pray. But this, this is not a shower. And especially you are putting water in your mouth from this water. How you can put water in your mouth from this water and in your nose? So guys, if I came to your uh, your country and you see Christian prince taking a shower in water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period and uh, uh, decomposed cats or dogs or garbage, don't ask him why he's an Arab. I'm following the prophet, and I am clean, and you know it. <laughs> So if we try to imagine how and uh, uh, what the Prophet was doing exactly. You will not believe it. Literally, your Prophet is a th swimming with garbage. Literally.
And why? You see, the, 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 the rest of the population, they're asking why you are doing that. Obviously, it's mean there's other opportunity to wash yourself. There is water. They have water. Otherwise, they will not ask him why you are doing this. So, Prophet Muhammad, say hi. We just found Prophet Muhammad. Hey, Prophet Muhammad, what are you doing there? Water is pure and nothing make it impure. And when Muhammad he says something, that's mean it's coming from Allah. And that's it. He is a clean and you know it. And now because he said so, all the Muslims have to follow. Okay, well, I want to see the Muslim really practicing uh, 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 Sunnah. Because this is Sunnah to wash with yourself with garbage. Nobody do what the prophet, the crazy prophet does. Because you don't believe in this garbage. There is no way this man have a little brain. He's mentally ill, obviously. Otherwise, you tell me what make a man jump in such a water. What is the problem? It's mental illness. It's obvious. It's obvious and so clear. And I bet you Muhammad was enjoying it. Suntan. You know, I mean, it's beautiful. We have to admit. Mirza, he said to me, his shake is what? What happened to his shake? My shake could not find time today. He would lead the prayer in the mosque morning and night. Well, don't he knew that he will lead the prayer at night and the morning when he told you he will call me today? Let me tell you what happened to your shake. Your shake is in the delivery room. He is going to deliver a beautiful child nine months old the prophet said if a muslim he wished to have a baby in the heaven he will have it and deliver it in less than an hour which means an hour in the arabic 15 minutes look how beautiful you are a man and you have a big belly and now you will deliver a child what is me really making me confused you will deliver the child from where hmm That's really harmful. I don't want to even think about it. Obviously, this guy is a mental illness. You see, all what he says is stupid. There's no way a man, he have a brain, he will say such a statement that you will be delivering a child in the heaven and you are a man. And all of this in 15 minutes. The fastest microwave ever. Do we have any Muslim want to say something good to us about the Prophet? Anyone? Who want to say to us something good about Muhammad? Oh, Mahdi, you have more disgusting hadith than all the Muslim Sunni. Trust me. Don't make me open the deal about the Shia. You will die laughing. Don't make me go there. <laughs> you think really you are better than the, the, the Sunni? What are you talking about, my friend? Shia stories is one million time funny and stupid from the, the Sunni hadith. Actually, nobody can beat the Shia with, this, with, the, with the madness. No Sunni, nobody. I 
right? <clears throat> Ali Muhammadan, want to say something to us? As an example, the Shia, they said that Abul Hassan, he said that uh, if you take a shower from the Prophet, the Prophet said, this is Shia hadith, if you take a shower or if you eat in the dishes or in the pot which is made in Egypt or you wash your, your head with its mud, you will become a pimp. Do you want to find the hadith reference? I can search for it. So you tell me which one is better, the Shia or the Sunni? Both are stupid. So if you eat in a dish made in Egypt, you will become a pimp? Let me find it for you, hold on, so you don't say we make things up. There we go. This is the book of Al-Kafi. Variant number six, page number 386, Al-Kafi for the Muslim Shia is the same as Al-Bukhari, very high quality book. It says that the Prophet said, uh, he, he saw a bunch of people who they are drinking with their mouth. The Prophet says, drink with your hand. It is better. <laughs> Let us continue. And then he says, The Prophet said, Don't eat in the dishes made or the, the containers made in Egypt. And don't wash your heads by its mud because that will take off your jealousy and will make you in a way to be a pimp. When you are telling me the Sunni, they, don't, they have funny hadith with Shia, we don't. What do you say? So if you like to be a pimp, just go and buy some dishes made in Egypt. No, they cannot say a weak hadith. This is Shia. This is like authentic uh, books for the Shia. This is Al-Kafi. This is Al-Kafi. Yeah. Uh, what about drinking the piss of the imams? What do you think, Madi? Is it true if you drink the piss of your imam, you go to heaven? Let me try to find the hate for you. Guys, we're not talking about even Muhammad. Any of those, the family of Muhammad or the Imams after him, if you drink their piss, you go to heaven. And their piss is always pure. I'm just trying to find an authentic uh, source for the reference. Here we go. Are you there, Mehdi? Those are the source. Mm. 
those are the name of the books and look what it says okay and then he says that the bowl of al لَيْسَ فِي بَوْلِ الْأَئِمَّةِ وَغَائِطُهُمْ إِسْتِخْبَاثٌ وَلَا نَتٍ وَلَا قَذَارَةٌ بَلْ هُمَا كَالْمِسْكِ الْأَذْفَرِ بَلْ مَنْ شَرِبَ بَوْلَهُمْ وَغَائِطُهُمْ وَدَمَهُمْ يُحَرِّمُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ النَّارِ وَاسْتَوْجَبَ دُخُولَ الْجَنَّةِ So there is no dirt, there is no uh, uh, filth in the piss and the poopoo of the imam. And the one who and they, even they smell like musk, like perfume, and the one who drink their piss and and and, and enjoy their poopoo, Allah forbid them from going to hell, which means they will go to heaven. And he must go to heaven. It says that literally. And this is the the book, and this is the the reference. So what do you mean we are better than the Sunni? By the way, I notice as an Arab that when I go to the bathroom, the smell there is so good. Do you think I'm an imam too? Me? I think I'm an imam. Because look, I can't I can't describe for you how it smells. Should I? Uh, I will buy a camera to show you. Hmm? <laughs> the piss and the dirt and the poop of the imam is like musk and the one who eat it or drink it, he go to heaven. Then you are telling me your books is better than the Sunni. And by the way, the Sunni, they say that they were fighting over the, the camel poop, the camel poop of Aisha. And they sniff it and they say, the smell of the Jannah. It's in the front of you. Anwaru al-wilaya li-ayatullah al-akhwand mulla zayn al-abideen Al Kaba Yakani, page number four four zero. All right. So don't tell me that your Shia have better. I mean, it's the same garbage. We did not even show you anything yet. It's endless. What about if you look at your ass, the, your wife ass or your wife anus? Allah will make you, will make your children blind, and you will turn blind. And if you speak when you are having sex, Allah will make your son mute, and deaf. Is that correct? This is your Shia. Read. Looking at the women anus is not a problem unless, but it is, is going to cause your son to be blind. And from Abu Sa'id al khudri that the prophet he made like last statement before he died, he said to Ali, none of you should look at the anus of his wife or her vagina. And he should not look when he is having sex. So we don't look at our wife when we have sex. We look at what? Don't look, brother. Don't ever look. Because looking at the vagina or the anus will cause the, the son to be blind. And in other statement, the Prophet said to Ali, which is mentioned in the book of Kitab al Faqih, O oh Ali, Allah, he hated for my nation to play during the prayer. And then he, he reached until he says, and to look at the women vagina. <laughs> and then he continues saying, I just given you all the reference. All the, let, let's, let us translate to English. Let us see what English translation of Google, stupid Google, what will come. Let us give it a translation. All right. Narrated by Said, blah, 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 blah. Okay, Prophet, okay, Said. Uh, don't look at the verge, the farge, farge being the wife vagina or private part. Uh, and don't look when you are having intercourse. I mean, translation here, 
uh, or looking at the vagina because that inherited blindness to the child. Do you see it? Guys, do you see it? Even in the in the stupid Google translation, it shows. Look like my dad was not looking, thank God. Man. I think my, my dad, when he was doing it with my mom, he was having like a eye folding stuff for security. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is so good to be true. And this is science, by the way. It's proving to be true. Try it. Try it with your wife. Try it with your wife. Just try. Okay, try it. I challenge you. See, you are scared to do it now. This is Shia. This is Shia. You know, so this is why I love when when uh, when uh, Mr. Al Mahdi he said uh, we Shia we don't have those garbage. Hey, come on. Are you serious? You do. You have more garbage than in any or anyone. I never saw. I'm telling you, I never saw stupid stories like the stories in the books of the Shia. It's beyond stupidity. <clears throat> anyway, do we have any Muslim would like to call enough with the Shia? Otherwise, we will go crazy. What do you mean, show me more, Ahmadi? Isn't it enough? If your prophet says that, that means your prophet is a false prophet. Enough. Enough is enough. Correct, guys? As long as this is Sahih and Muhammad said that, that's mean, that's mean Muhammad is a false prophet. But anyway, you want to see more? Okay, let's see. Hold on. Let me let me try to remember. I need to squeeze my head. Uh, what I will get you. Hmm. I have one, but I don't know how I can find it. I don't think I will find this in the internet. This is horrible. Okay, hold on, hold on. How you can choose a wife according to the Shia? You look at her vagina. I mean, look at the contradiction. One hadith says, if you look at the vagina, but that one is speaking, actually, it's not a contradiction, to be honest, because that one is speaking about having sex. Here, if you want to get married from a woman, how you know that those women, she will give you good babies? You look at her vagina. So like you, like there's two, there's two or three, four women, and you want to get the, the best of them, who will give you the best babies. So what do you do? You look at their vagina. But let me see if I can find you. Reference for that. This is an issue. Mm. I don't think we will find that in... I don't remember the exact word to search for because you know this is uh, something I read long time ago and in order to find it you have to remember let us see actually that one I think is not about a female normal female I think it's about a transgender mm. let us see I 
but I cannot find it. Sorry. Until now, nothing is appearing. Yeah, sometimes you find it easy. Uh, okay, hold on. Look like here. No, this is a Sunni website. I don't want to. I found it actually, but in a Sunni website. But I don't want to. Yeah. Okay, let's look for something else. Uh, yeah, look at this one, actually. Oh, hold on. I remember this one now. Uh, uh, a Muslim Shia, he cannot, he should not wear a black shoes. We spoke about this one before, if you remember, guys. Right? Why he cannot wear a black shoes? Because if you wear a black shoes, you will, your private part will not work. Um, here we go. I have the reference actually here. This is the book of. Al Kafi, which is equal to Al Bukhari, it says, I enter into Abu Abdullah, alayhi salam, or Firijli Nalun Sauda, Fakal, Yahan Nanu Malaka, what is Sauda? Ama Arinta and Nafiha Thirathu Hisal, Tode Aful Basar, Waturi Dakar, Waturi Tulham. Uh, translation oh uh, etc man why you are wearing the black shoes don't you know that wearing a black shoe will make your vision weak and your penis sleep will not make you like you know I don't want to speak dirty and will make you uh, have a lot of stress and then he says to him he said so what I should wear he said yellow shoes for it has a three uh, uh, benefit will make your eyes vision is strong and your penis will be so hard and what uh, is going to stop any stress or like any bad stuff like bad stuff will not come to you and this is what what the Prophet of God used to wear which mean yellow shoes this is why you notice that the the, the the yellow is the flag of the Shia in Iran and in Iraq Hezbollah their flag is yellow because they want to have a strong penis uh, let us see if we use translation of Google how it's going to appear and again this is uh, Mahdi here we go this is your website the Shia website Al Kafi the book of Al Kafi variant number six page number four six five we use Google translation just for you know the benefit of English thing all right so look he was wearing a black the translation here is not good black shoes he said to him oh Hanan why you are wearing the black the blackness which means the black shoes don't you know there is there is a three quality on them which mean by the quality they will weaken your sight and uh, they will they will uh, make your 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 penis <laughs> sleep and they will give you concern problems he said okay so what I will wear what kind of a slipper I should wear he said Yellow, yellow. It has a three qualities. It give you, you know, make your sight very strong, and tighten your male, make it harder your male private part, and take away all the concern from your life. And this was the clothing of the prophet. Do you see it? Uh, 
Madi, it's you who brought this to yourself. You are the one who says we Shia, we don't have this garbage. It's your fault. If you do not say that, we will not be talking about the Shia now, and people will be laughing. And by the way, I mean, this is why I have a black shoe. Look like if I have a yellow shoes, I will be in trouble. I need to get married right away. But because I have a black shoe, I'm okay. I'm safe. This is now I just we learned the benefit of having a black shoe. If you want uh, to be a man, you are, if you are a man, you want to stay away from women, get a black shoe. As you see, the benefit in front of you. Get the yellow shoes, you're in trouble. Hey, by the way, I don't see Shia wearing yellow shoes in America. Why you don't wear a you know? Yeah. True, Shia or Sunni, both is garbage, my friend. I mean, the, the, the Hadith is garbage. Right? What do you think, Maddie? Be honest. Do you believe in this garbage? Actually, yeah, I wear black shoes. Actually, no, I don't wear black shoes. I don't even have a black shoes at all. I'm, I'm being honest. I don't have black shoes, but not not against wearing black shoes. But I, uh, you know, depend in the the. I choose my shoes depend in the comfort. So if I I, am very picky when I buy shoes. Not based on the color, really. Any Muslim? But for sure, there's some shoes, their color is funny. I mean, I'm not going to wear anything. Like it's possible, like dark brown, they're very dark, close to black, or or black, it's possible, you know. Uh, but uh, yellow shoes, that would be funny. That's really funny. And by the way, now, if you have a problem with your sexual activities, I think uh, you should uh, you should pay us for the advice. We just the secret we reveal to you. Look how easy it is. Why people they buy Viagra? Just get a yellow shoe. Put it there and bring boing. Hmm? But isn't it the prophet who says, "What do you think about Imam Hussein?" Yeah, all the stories, there's nothing to think about him because all the stories of the Shia about Hussein, Hassan, Ali is fabrication, obviously, as you see. I don't believe this guy, he said that anyway. The Shia, they created a new religion. New stories, crazy. And then they start worshipping Ali and his family and etc. Yeah, anyway, I think we have enough for today. Shall we come on air tomorrow, guys? Or tonight later? How many of you here from Indonesia are with us still up? How many from Indonesia and from Asia here? Give me one. Those from Asia, please. Those who they are from Asian countries, give me one. Asian who live in Asia, not Asian who live in America. All right. So, okay, well, uh, maybe tomorrow we will go earlier so those who live in Asia can be with us earlier. They don't need to stay because now this is 6 in the morning there. Did you guys sleep? I think it's 6 in the morning there, right? Yeah. So uh, uh, we will, I don't know, I might come uh, later at night. If not, I will be here tomorrow and I will try to be earlier so those who they are in Asia, they can join us and those who they are from India, etc. Because really I care for those uh, in those countries. They need, they need our help, they need our education. And we are here to help everybody, not only those who live in America. Because this is best time for those who live in Europe and in America. But we care really for those people too so until i see you tomorrow i want to say thank you for all those who always support us and they download my videos they translate them 
and those who make donations I really appreciate you all I remember always that the world is full of deceptions and God he gave you a gift it's called a brain use it use it my friend religion can be religion supposedly is made for good reason like the purpose of all religion they claim that I want to make you a better person I want to teach you how to be close to God I want to teach you how to go to heaven whatever that religion is but you will notice right away that all cult leaders they share one thing they want your wife they sleep with her they want your money and they speak about helping poor but they are filthy rich those people stay away from them immediately I'm talking in general doesn't matter what religion you belong to for me I believe in a person his name is a Christ he did not even own a donkey he never took a wages he did amazing miracles but nobody pay him a penny that is my Lord if you have a Lord like Muhammad who make verses that you have to give him your wife if you like her any women she have to give herself to the Prophet so he can sleep with her the best of the booty for him the best of the money the best of the theft obviously this guy he is working for himself he is a devil man all cult leaders they share one thing they seek sex and money and power Jesus never seek power never created an army never asked for money and never did anything wrong no sin ever whatsoever the sin is and everything he did it was absolutely for free and the apostle of Christ after him didn't take wages they are not after women they are not after after power and they did not seek their own glory Muhammad he cannot be a messenger of any God not even the devil because the devil is is a good boy comparing to Muhammad Muhammad is more devilish than the devil himself this man he used the word God for very filthy reasons he destroyed this earth look wherever you go Islamic countries look at them terrorism killing bloodshed you will not believe it wherever this cult goes I just saw the news a refugee from Syria wanted to attack a churches this coming Sunday in Pennsylvania today they arrested two Muslims who were they preparing to attack churches in uh, uh, the city of Illinois in Chicago in less than a week one in Pennsylvania and two in Chicago the one in Sylvania you bring him as a refugee you give him housing you give him a salary you give him free health insurance I don't have a free health insurance I don't actually I don't have insurance at all A refugee come from the middle of nowhere he pay no tax he do nothing to this country and then he get a free insurance free housing free school even school is free and then after he come he came in the year 2016 after two years from coming he started thinking about attacking Christian churches the same Christians who helped him to have a house and he came as a refugee and they took him in This is what this cult does. The second you and you will see somebody he converted to Islam yesterday, the second day he want to join terrorism. Christianity do the opposite. Christianity, you bring someone, he is he was a criminal, he became a Christian, he became very peaceful. So Islam it changed your life into a criminal act to be violent, to believe in violence, to practice violence. Christ, he changed your life from being a violent to a very peaceful person. And then you'll be the judge. Which one is following the devil? The one if you follow him, make you peaceful, loving, giving, 
or the one you follow him make you bloodshed maniac slaughtering monster beast they are even proud about slaughtering people they make videos of it and they believe in terrorism this is why I say always one of the most amazing short sentence of Christ he said from their fruits you shall know them you do not need to be a person who know everything about anything the fruits my friend people they speak good but they do bad judge them by the bad they do not by the good they say all Muslims when they speak about God they speak mostly good especially when they speak in front of a Western but in Arabic they speak all kind of ugly stuff there's millions of videos in YouTube in Arabic the kuffar, the filthy, the disgusting, may Allah kill them all. Prayer, they are praying in the mosque. May Allah freeze the blood in their nerves. May Allah destroy them. May Allah give them heart. This is how they pray. Even their prayer is satanic. While the Christian, they pray for the peace of all mankind in their churches every Saturday, every Sunday. Friday, like now, billions praying for the destruction of mankind. That is Islam, my friend. However, we as a Christian, we still, we love Muslims and we hate evil. Muslims are people that need our help. Jesus said, time will come and they will think by killing you, doing favor to God. And that's exactly Islam. They think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. And for us, we believe by saving them, we are doing favor to know God. We are doing no favor to anyone. We are doing what we should do as Christians. This is not a favor to do. This is a duty. And this is a total different but the way we think and the way we act between Muslims and Christians. With this, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, feel free to read my books from Amazon.com. And as always, we say, Christ is Lord. Islam is false, made by the dummy, for the dummy. So are you? I am not. Thank you and see you soon. Take care.